to Valerie's Virtual Time! Hello, coders. So today, as you can see, I'm on Scratch because I have a book that has Scratch. So actually, let me tell you, let me show you something. So let's exit out of here. And this is different kind of... So let's see, YouTube Block Coder, my stuff. So this is what I have so far. And we're going to use this Untitled to make... A flower so let's name it uh, what's the fantastic flower so fantastic flowers all right and now it's good so now we have this cat that we don't need so let's press this X button and then choose a sprite we're gonna choose this ball right here and you know what I am going to go with ball C. So let's delete that, delete that, delete that, and delete that. Now we have this ball C only right over here. Let me just put it there. So now that we have this ball, we need to do events. When goal, when green flags clicked, we press control repeat five so this is repeat 10 we're gonna enter in a new unit that's repeat five and now we're going to put move 25 steps so now on the book it says pen and stamp well where do we get that we press here and press there now we're gonna press stamp no it's not stamp there, there. stamp here and then we're gonna put move negative 25 degrees instead of 25 it's negative 20 25. now we turn instead of 15 degrees we are going to put this now you may be wondering what does this mean it means divide and slash means divide encoding because it's just much easier for the laptop to understand. So if you're a coder, you better know that. Otherwise, you're going to say, eh. Otherwise, you're going to say, where's the division sign? And then the computers will be like, waiting, waiting, waiting. So, And wondering about multiply, it's this little star right here. Because they don't want to get confused with X in that and multiply it. And yes, X. Now we're going to put stamp again. And now we press the gold flag. Hey, it made a flower. And what the heck? Oh, there's one right here. Oh, we can make a new flower. But hey, this is taking a long time. So, we have to make a new block. And this block is going to be called Draw Flower. And now, since we have Draw Flower, we we take off that put on this and now once we've clicked OK we delete that block now I haven't deleted this block because we're going to need that for the next step so now we are going to need the forever block and get the if block that is right right here put it inside the forever block and press mouse down oh wait how much, how much my battery? never mind that okay so now go to mouse pointer uh where is it go to not random position you weirdo mouse pointer and then we're going to get oh my gosh draw flower that we made earlier now, wherever I click the mouse, like let's say here, 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 yeah, that's way too much flowers. So, to fix this problem, we are going to right click and press edit. Now, what we're going to do is press add an input and type in the number 
number of pet petals. No. Number of petals. And now that we've got that, draw flower now has a little blank circle. So now we're gonna take this and put it 360 divided by number of petals. Now you may be, now you may be wondering, what's the next step? Well, this draw flower that we have over here, it's already over there, as you can see. So now that the draw flower we have over here is gonna be seven, there. Type seven here. Now the petals. Now when we run it, the petals must have six, seven petals each. So now we're going to add more variety. Okay, dang. One sec. Uh, 